Hi, I'm Austin Powell from the Austin Chronicle, and I'm here with Paul Krebs from Denmark. One of the things that fascinates me most about the House of Songs project is just the concept of it, that there's this connection between Austin and Denmark. Um, I was hoping you could tell me just a little bit about that. It's very inspiring, and I feel that I get new life. I get, um, I get a way to express myself uh, in a more musical language. But it's hard work The art of living To make do And do good By what's given Yes, it's hard work The art of living Yeah It's a pain What, in your opinion, made Austin write for the House of Songs and for your next record? More than 50 Scandinavian artists have been in the House of Songs. More than 100 songs have been written there within a year. Oh. So so it has all, already proven that these people are the right people to do, the, do that kind of work. And for me, to come here and record in Austin is, is um, a natural way of... Uh, proving what the House of Songs idea is in its way because my album here is my first album in English. I've made a lot of albums in, in my own language, but, but this is the first time that I now have decided after we have started this thing off and Troy's been running it for, for a year, I've decided that this is the perfect way to show what the, our dream and ambition about House of Songs is. That now I have gotten in touch with uh, my favorite producer of them all and I have been able to come here and record with, uh, with people and musicians and, and producers. It's a dream. And has he been uh, pretty hands-on in the process? Yeah, he's been pretty hands-on. He's all hands-on hands on deck? Yeah, he's been all over. <laughs> yeah, he's, been, uh, he's been behind the drums uh, and he's been on the keyboards, he's been on the bass, he's been on the guitar, he's been at the boards, he's been everywhere. There's a Jokingly, I've said to him and friends of mine that the production style that I do is faith-based, and it's there's an instinct and a gut feeling about someone's music and their songs, and, and uh, that you just I'm very instinctual that way, and I tend to and always should follow those instincts, and those gut feelings, and I always had it with him, even when things got a little tricky with the schedule or we were supposed to meet in Europe while I was there, and that didn't happen. Uh, thankfully, he was very patient, and uh, you know, we were able to make it happen. And um, I'm really glad that I did follow those instincts, and because what arrived to Texas to make this record and the performances he's given, and even the songs were so they were so uh, greater than the demos I was getting, and I was like really stunned. I mean, what a, what a solid singer he is, and, and when you can actually get into the lyrics and we're working on the vocals and whatnot, he's he's a brilliant writer. <clears throat> and I really I think that Paul is like he's like he's a wonderful balance of poet and craftsman in song, you know. And it's it's funny because uh, he's really a some things are so kind of like good and right that you kind of. You take them for granted sometimes, you know? But once we got inside, I was like, wow. Very, very clever with the way he does things. Yeah. You weren't pushing as much, you know? And you were like, 
Yeah, okay. You know, it was more open yeah. tonally. Yeah. You know, and it's tricky because it's like it's uh, it's not fast, but it has momentum. The track, yeah. Yeah. so it's kind of it's very like sets of waves. You know, <laughs> it's, um, a lot. I've, I've worked with a lot of different producers uh, during um, all the albums that I've made in my career, but I've. I've never worked with a person like Charlie who's so much into, he sort of sneaks into the song in the middle of the song and he's all over, he's, he's playing the drums, uh, he's playing the bass, he's playing the guitars, he plays the, key, he plays the keyboards and he's into the lyrics and he sits out there making his notes, he has a special system where he sort of um, marks every, every time there's something good going on in, while I'm recording my vocals. And he's so much into the whole process and there's not sort of a part of the process that he's more into than, than the other part. And, and that feels like a, like a big relief to work with a producer like that. So. Funny thing about coming here to Austin is that that you you can feel from you from you coming to the airport that this is about music. Music is so important in this city, and it's it's a big difference between coming from Denmark, where a lot of people are very very much into music, and there there, there are so many venues and so many festivals in them. But it doesn't seem like music is important when you come to a city. When you come to Austin, you see that wow. This is about music, and that's what brings me here, and that's what have always bring, brought me here, to to meet people that feel that music is just as important as I think it is. That it's, it's so deep in my in, in my sort of growing up and my be, becoming a, a sort of a songwriter and, and working with that. So it's it's um, it's it feels uh, like a like a very very nice and a good feeling one thing come here and and meet these people it's the rhythm of my own. 